hey guys long time a bit so I've decided to make up a playlist on how to be a software developer and getting to know what kind of languages that you would need to be a software developer like building stuffs building apps building web apps or building even mobile apps so I've decided to start with mean stack so what is a mean stack mean stack is basically Mongo Express angular and node.js and basically the reason uh, mean stack is getting gaining popularity nowadays is that it uses just one language for everything for the database for the front end for the back end everything like usually if you make a PHP application with a PHP backend you would need to have backend PHP you would need to have a front end that's JavaScript or jQuery and you would have to be go on back and forth between two languages and that becomes sometimes it becomes a hassle for people well there are uh, option there's a good option right now and that is the mean stack so the first thing that you would have to do to get started and see how I'm developing an app in front of you in this tutorial first thing you would have need is some a few tools so first you would need to have node.js installed in your PC and I hope you're using a Linux machine it doesn't um, it's not like you can't use a Windows machine for this but preferable to be developing in a Linux laptop like Ubuntu Mint or Mac so yeah, Mac is basically Linux based, so same thing. All right, so first I would need you to install Node.js. You could find uh, the packages in their official website. And then you would need to install MongoDB, which is our database for this uh, application. Like usually we use MySQL databases. This time we're using NoSQL because we're using MeanStack. And you would get to know how, how good uh, NoSQL databases are it's so like I would I prefer NoSQL databases any day but of course it differs from uh, the type of application you're building so yeah uh, you need MongoDB you need Postman uh, Postman is a Chrome application Chrome extension so it's better for uh, checking out your REST API and for like seeing how your REST API works and it's 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 really handy you would get to know why once we go move on to the Move on towards this tutorial further and then you would need robo mongo now oh thank you the beginning right so you download robo mongo which is basically seeing uh, which is basically like a cli for your um mongodb database you would still need to write code as you can see the pictures you're still writing code but that's what you do in your uh, mysql databases too unless you're using php which has a nice admin panel and a sweet admin panel and everything but yeah for this you have to download robomongo because it's much easier to see the status of your database compared to seeing it through a terminal of course terminal is also good too but i would prefer that you download this it's really handy and stuff all right so uh, these are the four things you will need and a good editor and for this I'm using WebStorm. WebStorm is a nice handy editor uh, for doing this kind of for making this kind of JavaScript based application but you can also use a normal editor or you could use plain old sublime text. All right so in the next tutorial we'll be starting on how to set up the project like uh, we'll be using Express.js as our framework, as our backend framework, and we'll be using Angular for our front end. But let's move on to just making the backend side first. And um, yeah, so I would hope that by the next tutorial you would download Node, npm, and uh, all the other dependencies like Mongo, Postman, RoboMongo, and all the other uh, text editor tools. All right, so new. See you in the next tutorial, and good luck.